you want to actually get... it is oh. it was unpicked yesterday it was one of the unpicked heroes i looked at it earlier it's still a good amount of damage being done yeah he's struggling actually on this ember he's losing the lane i think that's to be expected that dp wins this lane by a bit oh he got another arrow uh, she may be in with the crypt swarm on the very fire we are gets a little bit more life but moon's attack follows through the tree line GHTP is in, but it's a second too late. Maybe with a Fae Bolt level 1, it wouldn't be enough to kill off Moon. How long it takes to get the payoff on Midas, Ogre just gets it, you know, 75% faster. And they're off to Kuro again. Mounting is able to connect. Now be a very dead Kuro, even with the Shadow Word, the leap forward from Rage Potato. Maybe actually with Stick Charge, Kuro can survive through this. He's fine. Potato wants to stay on the back of it. Kuro, leap forward, star fall. He's trying to just juke him out. Now with a Sam P, Kuro is able to do it. GH will arrive to help with Weeha. To find the kill on Ragey Potato, who really wanted that. He got scanned on, however, so... <laughs> He's trying to do the D1 for the everything. Best. Everything will end up dying as Weeha's in the back line, so Ninja Boogie will go down. The Metamorphosis okay. burned from Miracle. They need to add some tower pressure on the back of this, but look at KP. Diving under Kuro, no multi for him, and maybe he's in trouble with Weeha arriving, and KP's trapped in by the Radiant Creek Wave. A quick ignite, a third TP is now coming in, or a second TP for a third hero. KP still looking to bounce out this. He'll get the multi over on the Ember, but GH and Kuro working together. DP's Pick coming. him up, throw him down. There's nothing that Moon can really do. He's going to trigger the Exorcism, and now look towards Weeha with the Silence. Okay, maybe he can just kill him straight out. The arrow would have flied forward to kill him off anyway just jumping around where 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 oh if they get backstab mid here this could be really dangerous oh, oh this one fails brace from team liquid Sentry wards being planted. Weeha, he's gonna find his first target over towards the Mirana. Leap away, gets a double leap, and the rocket really only hit over on Moon. Three leaps used by Rage Potato, turns for the arrow, connects over on Weeha. Parallels and Clash from Spooky help set it up, but they really want to get both of these kills. The Spirit Jump fortunately can require GH already got him with the Fade Ball. And Ninja Boogie will go down too. So two quick kills. Like, the net worth of KP can just skyrocket so quickly. And this exorcism allows Mineski to keep the pressure up. GH does steal it. It's not always the greatest thing to steal, however, because it means GH has to get pretty close. Oh, they'll back up. Yeah, Harassment, force rotations, and then, yeah, move top. I'm not sure they're completely giving up on this idea just yet. They might come back. Okay, now they're probably not coming back. <laughs> Actually, right. it's a smoke from Liquid. They want to come and try and fight up on top lane. They know the ops was deep water, but yet yeah, T1 Tower attempted to denial of the tower. Won't happen. Moon gets the last hit in. And GH, he wants Ragey Potato. They need to keep the control up, and with the Exorcism damage, they'll definitely kill him. While in mid lane, mind control, a little bit too far forward. Looks like KP was able to get a bit of a chain stun off, working with Moon. Although he could remove one Fatal Bond on himself with that, which is also nice. Oh, they found mid. Weeha caught out. It's like Rage Potato was able to connect. It's not Crypt Swarm for. Yep, it's Crypt Swarm. Moonlight Shadow's already been triggered as well from Potato. Koro, Sentry Ward is down, so he sees both of them moving. Uh, now KP in behind the tier 1 tower just oh, rotates over the arrow. the arrow. Just well off target, but it won't matter. Nico's there too. Oh, oh, so they'll they'll, oh, they'll beat the crap out of this tier 1 tower. TP support is on the way, but the fortification they will keep the tower up. They'll hit the rock down. Where's the boss? It now comes out as well. Multicast, but Life Dealer dies so damn quickly. Yeah, on top lane, Ninja Boogie's gonna. Oh, perfect Manta. He actually dodged it. I thought I thought he meant to dodge the Maledict. He didn't. He meant to dodge, I think, a cask. I did not sure. think Ninja Boogie was going to go for that. Yeah, that <laughs> like, was a bit. Uh, it's like back, back towards the mid where you see Ogre running under the something the T1 town, but on bottom lane, Mule Scepter into the arrow. Moon using it aggressively in Ember Spirit. No way to get out of it. Now in towards the mid, Ogre the Giant, KP, trapped up. With the upheaval, outrunning this will be difficult, but that's why you see how tanky the Ogre is. A multicast can't get one over on mind controlling. Just can't Midas. move fast enough. Use your Midas, no! <laughs> no other serious physical damage to be too worried about. Ninja Boogie actually get a perfect paralyzing cast. They're looking for it. And up with the Maledict is over on the Ember Spirit. He'll quickly spirit away. Searing chains up with the for over on the Centaur. He'll hit the ground. And Nico over points up a mind control. And Nico just rips all the life from him. That's a Scotty coming Holy in over spot. on the Courier. I see a four star oh, yep. recipe as well. And now they're gonna have a crack over towards mid lane. Mind control caught out a little too far. Miracle's looking at him, can't do much to help him though. As Moon, he's still in pretty deep. He's got his BKB and Yule Scepter. The rock will drop, and three heroes dead. Well, Ninja Boogie just evaporates as the Spirit jump forward. There's your defensive Yule Scepter up from Moon, as he can't get anything really off. Spirit side, but no point running the exit because he's already dead as Nico. Now he's trapped underneath the Scotty trying to kite it out, but Miracle, he's just too big. KP can't outrun this. Maneski just have no movement speed at all, and even Bloodlust stolen by GH. Let's buff up Miracle again. 
that's the surprise factor of not knowing this Ascardian play. The the DP gets caught out, tries to BKB to stay alive, but she's too slow to run away. If you know there's a Scotty there, you instantly have to just turn and fight. You BKB, you ulti, and you take the fight. But they were missing a hero as well in they this They want to keep going. Miracle wants to keep pushing up towards the tier 3 tower. The jump in from behind the arrow, able to connect over on the Ember Spirit with the jump out off the golem. Maybe they can get this quick kill over on the Wii Hunt. They're able to do so. And Team Liquid's push will stop, but they do claim a tier 3 tower already. They need non-stop multicasting. That's, that's it. Any kind of full control. Weeha's gonna be the first setup with a follow-up arrow. He's just totally alone here in the mid lane. Weeha's dying too much, man. Like, now they TP up towards the top. Moon wants to keep the fight going. KP needs a following stun. Kuro's the closest. Yule stepped her up. Now drop him down. The rune already grabbed. It's, uh, well, Warlock tries to keep the run going. He can't do anything. Can't drop the rock because he's already been silenced up. Now Ninja Pugi hits his own paralyzing cast. For Agent Potato does not have the sun available, but with the Maledict and the Death Ward, GH, Agent Potato just needs to the Starfall, and GH will tick out to the Maledict. Nothing will save him. Three heroes from Liquid, just one after the other, falling like dominoes. Like, how do you go on him? If everyone else is far enough away, then maybe you can do it. Moonlight Shadow, you run further forward. Paralyzing cast now. The illusion will work against him. He'll bounce back now with the Maledict. That's how you go on him. He does it with the Lotus Orb. It actually stopped Miracle from getting the life. That's what we're talking about. Mind control. Hop stop. Creates more space. Miracles and almost no life. Moon just wants to finish the job. And they're going to be able to. Ninja Pookie's Maledict pop as the BKB wears off. MKB, key item against Life Stealer. He has evasion, talent, and radiance. They just need a good opening. GH is going to start it off, link him up, push him back down again. My control, baiting out the hooks on multiple times, but now Ember Spirit dead. Oh the my multi -cast. god! Oh, oh, oh. That's your proper ding ding! My control, four star from out, goes oh, and finds some time, but the again. cast actually follows him. They're wrapping oh. around the east, coming up through the river. No exorcism. This fight could be really good for Liquid if Terrorblade gets to do whatever he wants. And right now it looks oh, possible. Very jump forward, looking for Ninja Boogie, trying to fist it out. Quick Moonlight Shadow, but we have with the BKB. They've already killed up the Wish Doctor. Buybacks are available. They're coming out towards the shrines as Moon keeps these supports under control with the Spirit Slife. And Nico's trying to do the best he can, but Miracle, he's the beast. He's the man to watch. Try and bring down Nico, able to do so through the Aegis Immortal. But Maldix is over on Terrorblade. Sun is available, but the Sun just keeps on going. Miracle, he'll steal the life. And Weeha, he's able to help to get the revenge kill out, but then you've still got more damage coming the way from Maneski. Terrorblade is finally brought down. They'll get rid of the Golem too. And when the BKB of Terrorblade expires, it starts getting really easy. The Sunder here, it's a good Sunder. I I feel like if he tried to turn around for Ogre, Ogre got Lotus, right? Or was it... Yeah, he got Lotus, so that wouldn't have worked. Back in real time though. Yeah, we're High pushing, ground time. Pushing into the tier three. Moon will burn up the Exorcism. Remember, they've still got the cheese that's over on the Life Stealer now. They got passed off Moon as uh, Hoop Stomp from Mind Control comes in. But then Lotus Orb, stun yourself back, KP. The tier 3 tower is just being ripped apart. Man, rooted forever, Nico. Stolen Maledict. Oh god. I'm not sure he realized. DP needs to Yules. He needs to BKB. He needs to do something right now. Moon, he'll turn in silence. That'll do something. Mind Control still running away from all the ghouls. He'll be able to survive through this. As Nico munches on the cheese, turns back into Weeha. Miracle, he's got Sunder, putting Nico back. Nothing. Spirit jumps forward. No, he put two down, but it's all too late. Mind Control, he misses the stun. The concoction, it was still there. He actually got hit by the bouncing coconut. As Weeha, the Crypt Swarm, and the Spirit Siphon kills him off. Buyback is available for him, but not for Mind Control. Maneski will want to claim their second lane of Rax. They can't go for more, however. The Stolen Maledict once again over on Moon. A KP, the never-ending multicast oh, into Koro, and the Hex on Terrorblade. They can't fall for the stun into the back lines. It's Weeha trying to cause some problems, but then another multicast done. Three in a row, Weeha will go down. Terrorblade set up towards the air, the perfect arrow. Sunder is available, he'll need to trigger it right now. Four staff can't buy any kind of time or space. That may just be the game right there. Dead for 80 seconds, they'll go for the tier four towers. And Maneski. They have pushed Liquid down and down. They're faced up against Miracle's Terrorblade. And they've come out with a huge smile on their face. Maybe a little bit too overconfident that Fragile Potato is going to come up to the fountain, but it won't matter. This game is Maneski's. GG. That went sour real quick. So. Mineski, Liquid has its own strength too. You know, there's definitely some clear synergy in terms of grouping up and pushing, but the problem is the lineup they're playing against counters that type of fight. They, do they go will to fall back. They had no better idea in the very early stage. Oh, Kuro. Yeah, it looks like this may actually be first blood. 
Another poison with mango consumption up to five, and there it is. Ragey Potato finds the kill with the pop. Roots and, and a null. Maybe he could try another That's kill. Actually, his miracle's null. Yeah, if he had a null on TA, I. GH is in trouble again, but then again, he does so much damage, he can help Mind Control get the uh, revenge kill into Ninja Boogie. It's the army of neutrals comes out, Shackles on bottom lane, Ragey Potato getting caught out, KP tries to break him free, but they press the attack, comes just a little too late, Miracle already hit him with the Split Earth. And you gotta feel like in this game, maybe they can transition much better because of the, the DP struggling. A lot of the tempo in the last game was decided by that. Oh, KP bottom. Yeah, he served defensive disruption available, however, but he loses the time to move with movement speed from press the attack. Stick six charge is also available. Dodges the split earth, bouncing around the side, but the last attack still comes in from Miracle. And another shackle will come in as well as we are. Ragey Potato nowhere to run, gets hit by the Mel Strike, and Miracle claims the double kill. And we have quickly TP's back towards the mid wall. Up on top, GH with his plus 108 damage, hitting into Ninja Boogie, hitting into Nico. Kind of stuck around, and then Weeha came down and got a bonus, so bit of a mistake there from. Now Moon. Rotation from Kuro hits the oh, perfect shackle. Oh, he got the Courier too! With the side blade hit. Oh, boy, what a. T <laughs> <laughs> you'll take it, you'll take it if you're liquid. Like, man, Mineski, you know, when they get to this mid game and it comes to the team fight, it's gonna be great. But when the, if the lanes go like this, it doesn't even matter. It's like, this is. They just got flat out run over in the first five minutes. Like Liquid are angry and they're waking up. Oh my god, look at the damage. He just, he's got a movement speed as well as the damage on him, so Nico just gets beaten down. And now now we need to look at it from the other side, right? So this probably did not go the way Mineski were expecting. Oh, this should be fine up top. Oh, never mind, there's oh, Aurora. Wow. GH, he's only got plus 61, didn't hit up too many. Now the extra TP support's coming in. Both support's up on top lane to try and bring down GH. I think he's fine. They don't have mana for a stun. No, they don't. And in fact, meanwhile, Legion Commander dies on bottom lane. Ninja Boogie, Mind Control is the one going after him with the ball slows down. They're having a hard time staying on top. Miracle's taking that tower as well. Mind Control will just walk this off, but GH is coming back in again. Plus 120 <laughs> on the damage. But have they actually got enough? Miracle's got your scepter available, and Miracle, no way, they didn't no see way, him. they didn't. Now they will, they will. They'll pull him back with the sinister gaze, canceling the TP. It was only because of the observer and Sentry even break the tree line down, and Miracle will fall. He's got the your scepter, and it won't work. And KP even arrives to get the duel out. Rage Potato will be the man to claim the kill. Like they're meant to be the intimidating ones, but like there's there's the saves, there's the movement from Mineski, there's the big team fight. Now Moon has to be pressed the attack, gets him away from the split earth. Nichibuki will die in the meantime, but Death Prophet Shack it up four heroes right on top of him. You kinda have to fight to earn the space to farm, right? Now they lost three bounty runes. Looks oh. like they are getting Chain something. Frost. Oh, that's Point oh, blank range with mind control hole. as well as Miracle. Rage Potato will still end up going down. We has the double kill. And the Shackles, they're holding Sven in position. He's got no other choice but to fight now. But maybe move with the Exorcism and the dual damage output. They can bring down Miracle and turn their attention over towards the Templar Assassin. We are a huge kill to take. He's already got a triple kill. They'll burn through the Aegis Immortal. Mind Control is nearby, he's just pushing the creep wave for the moment. It's Weeha, he wants to fight. In towards KP, a quick press to attack. Moon and KP want to run out, but the TA trap slows him down. Mind Control still waiting for the right time to get in. But all he can do is give him the vision. That was the right idea from Mineski, though. That's what they needed to do. They got a really good Chain Frost, but it bounced off to the Hawk. And Mind Control flew it away. You don't even control it, right? He's just casted, you can't control the Hawk anymore, so it's just going there. And fortunately for him, the last chance that Blitz ulti has of bouncing on it does do that. And that was a huge thing for that fight for Liquid. If that Chain Frost would have kept bouncing, I think Mineski get a little bit of a comeback there. And Sven did fight. And I think, again, it was the right thing to do. Uh, now he doesn't have Godstring. Now he's like really useless. But I think you got to try it again. Next God Strength, next DP ulti. Look for the fight. See if you can get something done. You still, when you are down this much, Oh. Getting even an even fight is good. They're starting on Miracle. Purge him up. Can't How much all. damage you got, but you don't have that God Strength available. But Ragey Potato just keeps going in, stacking up as much poison as possible. And they have enough. Ragey Potato gets the pop. Meanwhile, Lich will die. GH pumping hard, 149 damage a hit. Now press the attack, turning around with Weeha's Meld Strike. Moon just does not have enough armor or life to survive, and even KP doesn't have the movement speed. Triggers the phase boots, but he'll run over the top of a TA trap. Another slow down press attack club and break free ET. We'll put him to sleep with the stomp and the splitter. They'll put everything they've got into KP and we have them follow up with the Mel connection too. And KP, difficult to kill, but not impossible. Liquid know what they're here for. They're here for a tier three tower. 
ET Spirit yep. moves around the back. They don't see anybody. Now they'll see Moon, who can just Crypt Swarm to try and slow down the wave. The damage reduction of the tower can't even help it. It just dies so quickly. KP's trying to get rid of these wards, but that means it's a jump in the side blade hit. Moon and Ninja Boogie down at 50% so quickly. We finish the job over on Ninja Boogie. Nice double stun from Nico. That allowed them to go right over, over the top of Miracle. Dead for 50 seconds. The stomp. Slowing things down. Defensive disruption from Raging Potato. They still need to bring down Weehan. This BKB time is being wasted. KP needs the movement speed to get away. He'll have it, but Nico won't be so lucky with the overwhelming odds and the Chain Frost. Liquid have taken heavy amounts of damage. And Kuro just can't get away from us. The Sentry Wall is planted down. They see everything, and Raging Potato's poison finishes the job. Boogie is dying to balls of mind control. Weeha wants to go for another fight. Into Raging Potato, hits with the Mel Strike. Triple kill for him. TA traps it down as well. KP's got no other choice but to really turn around and try and fight this. A three man silence. Moon through the back line. He needs to bring down one of these big cores. He's looking towards Weeha. He may be able to have it. No refraction. Mel's available, but the Sentry oh, was still there. Weeha will go down. GH now with a split up, but the duel is out. How much damage have you got? A fair amount. That's 209 plus over on the ET, but that's why SD's defensive disruption saves KP, gives him the dual victory. Two melee creeps here. Oh, jump forward. You already got the stomp ball, but no, Nico! Wait, He's what? on the hill! He blinked forward and then she clipped himself? Oh, no! Disruption from Raging Potato. At least he'll dodge the one stun, but how the hell does Nico get down from here? He actually are teasing himself. Rod, shackled, and split on everything oh, they had, they no. threw at him. <laughs> he oh. his teammate. Tipped by his own teammate. That is, uh, <laughs> god damn it. Yeah, maybe they didn't have a, I wasn't paying very close attention to the waves. They, they were all slightly outside the base. Sentry wards being planted, same down with the plague wards. Spurt and wards gets to get rid of that melee rags, but the fortifications up. We! Two hits, Ninja Boogie down, going in very, very deep. Remember, he's got the Aegis Immortal, at least two of the Nullifier available too, and they're burning through him. Moon's done the work. We had defensive refraction charge. He's actually walking this off. He's not going to go down. Moon blinks in, goes for the Yule Scepter once again, brought up as a counter from Mind Control defense. Disru disruption from Rage Potato. Yeah. Rage Potato is trying to get rid of the creep wave. But it won't work, Moon doesn't really have a lot to give, and now they got the damage into Miracle, but consumes the cheese, straight back up to full life, GH puts him to sleep, and Sven, he's the one going to be caught out, Oh, split it up, Ninja Boogie, now throw out that Chain Frost, as much damage as they've got left, Sven will have to buy back, as Mind Control and GH walk away from each other, actually they can just tank through, Miracle however cannot tank through this, the duel will hold him in position, and bring him down, while Weeha try to get Cheeky into the back lines to get some damage output, but it's Bineski running forward, the war cry, everyone buffed up, everyone looking for the kill, and they're gonna get it on Weeha, burn through the Aegis Immortal, the buyback now comes in from the Lesh, and he'll TP himself forward into the Death Prophet, stunned up from Mind Control's Raw, and they turn their attention towards the three position. KP, defensive disruption will buy some time, but Miracle will just end up going for both. Weeha will take care of one, the Shackles from Kuro burns through the Ghost after time of the SD, as KP really keeps trying to outrun them, but but it won't work, the Nullifier follows. The only thing keeping Mineski in this game right now are these buybacks that potentially defend the lane of Rax. Death Prophet Exo in five seconds. You saw them holding there before without the Exorcism, so this time they will have it, but Liquid's lead is now really oh, huge. They, they, go oh. they force up and fall and instantly evaporate. Oh. <laughs> Down for a minute and a half, Exorcism or not. Force into the instant burst from Kuro. And, and that's, that's why they tipped gotta him. Be the game. It was Kuro's first four staff and GG is called Mineski. They did everything they possibly could to hold that ground, but uh, my god. Team Liquid, we thought their draft was gonna be slow, but hey, when you win all three lanes,